Hello and welcome to the I'm Alive Again Holistic Health Show, also called the Bible Health 101 Show. And we have been talking about the history of diets and uh, we've gone all the way back to prior to the Industrial Revolution uh, on to the uh, 20th century. I've spoken about a bunch of uh, dietary myths and uh, why they don't work. And uh, today, uh, I'm going to talk about why we're so healthy, unhealthy, okay? And I want to talk about what is a diet. And Dictionary.com says a diet is a food or drink um, considered in terms of its qualities, composition, and its effects on health. And there's, there you go. That's, that's your answer to the question, what is a diet? Now, there's basically three reasons that we're unhealthy. First of all, we don't understand um, quality nutrients. We need to know how our body uh, processes nutrients, and uh, we need to understand uh, what really is a quality nutrient. Now, first of all, a quality nutrient is one that feeds the cells, okay? An unquality nutrient just fills our body. So we need to choose foods that are uh, as close to their natural state as possible. And uh, whole foods, okay, that's, that's what's considered to be quality nutrients. The uh, second reason that we're unhealthy is the, uh, the modern diet. The standard American diet is filled with foods that... Uh, have no nutritional value. And uh, that's why when you go to a fast food restaurant or you've eaten a food out of a box, then your body is uh, often not satisfied and, and you're still craving more food. Okay, but I bet you've never been guilty of overeating apples, right? Uh, so, because that's a high quality food, okay, it's high quality nutrition in an apple or an orange. Now, the food industry, <coughs> excuse me, is aware uh, that, you know, they're going to make more money by selling more food, and they use these creative labeling schemes and and, uh, and a lot of bogus claims in order to uh, entice us to, to buy their foods, okay? And basically, uh, these foods are lacking nutrition, and they're just filled with cheap fillers, okay? And this... Um, gets us into the cycle of poor health and it's a never-ending cycle unless we determine to change it okay and that's the purpose of these classes to uh, learn why we're we're overweight why we're sick and to come up with reasons why we want to change okay and um, it's uh, you you can do it because just uh, as your you know your body right now craves unhealthy food, uh, your body will soon, as you start making some of these dietary changes, your body soon will uh, will crave healthy foods. Okay, and uh, really, I think once you understand all of these. Uh, these things that I'm, that I'm sharing with you in this course, you, you'll you see how silly the uh, the fad diets are, and uh, you'll just be able to to, to laugh at the, the latest uh, diet plan. And the third reason that, uh, that we're so sick is because we neglect our health. We are busy, busy, busy. All right, we... We have all kinds of challenges in the day, 
Uh, we don't eat breakfast because we're too busy. We're in too much of a hurry to get to work. Uh, at lunch, we don't have time to eat, so we go through the drive through We're sitting at our desk all day, um, and, and we're charging ourselves up with caffeine, uh, which is a poison, and that's until we get home, because then when we get home, we load up on, uh, on calories, and then uh, we sit in front of the TV, and then we make some sort of processed food for dinner uh, that has no nutritional value, and, uh, you know, if we're lucky, we get to go to a, a restaurant, but then what do we get there? Uh, we get something uh, that, that's rich, that's, that's high in calories and served in large portions. And, uh, you know, you put all of these, all of this, all of this uh, stuff that defines our lifestyle, um, you know, together, and then you add on top of that, that we don't exercise, uh, there should be little wonder why it is that more and more of the American population is so obese. Okay, it's, it shouldn't be a wonder why Americans are getting more and more fat. All right, now our bodies were created by God. Okay, the Bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Okay, and these bodies are so wonderful that they've been created to survive all the abuse and the stress that we give it. Unfortunately, though, over time, uh, over the long term, uh, this abuse ultimately catches up with us and we gain excessive amounts of weight and we start to get sick. Okay, here's your question of the day for the day. Why uh, do you consider yourself to be healthy? I, I would like to, uh, to hear uh, the reasons why you consider yourself to be healthy and if you don't consider yourself to be healthy, uh, go ahead and post below why you don't consider yourself to be healthy. Okay, I'm David Hester, and this is the end of the Bible Health 101 show for today. My website is www.biblehealth101.com.